Hey folks, Clyde Lindsay here at Leechburg Lights. Hope things are going well for you during setup. I've got another short video I want to do on the single strand effect, but instead of doing uh, demonstrating how to use a chase, there's another video I've done on this. Uh, what I want to show is how you can use this function called skips. Now, uh, a lot of people uh, who are musicians uh, know what what the term a march is, or a, 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 a piece of music that emphasizes a one-two beat, where you feel like you're marching in time with the actual song. And I've got a I've got an example of one of these songs right here. So basically what you have is you have a march tempo. If you got one of those old Casio keyboards and you press the, the march tempo back in the day, this is what it would have sounded like, something similar to it. And you could play along if you knew how to play the piano or, or you had one of those uh, inexpensive uh, keyboards back in the day. So um, what, what I wanted to do is I want to show you how you can create a visualized effect of the march over top of any single strand or over top of your entire display if you want to if you have a, a model set up for uh, a group set up for the whole house so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna start with a basic um, with a basic uh, uh, st uh, string effect and I'm gonna count out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen I'll, I'll just go fourteen for right now now I've got 14 blocks and I'm going to change the number of advances to 14. We're probably going to have to do some adjustment but that's okay. Now the next thing you can see that everything's on top of each other and I want to make it make the band size just a little bit bigger and not only that let's go ahead and put a little bit of a skip in between the colors so you can see them. In fact we could probably get rid of the uh, green. Let's just do red. So now you have your uh, red chase and you can have that chase go the entire way across the entire model now what we need to do is what do we say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen I only put four there that would make sense so now now you'll notice that these blocks are kind of chunked out and if you look really close you can see that they actually match up with the lines from the timings this is actually good to our advantage because now we can s take and stretch this out and then as we did we can see that we lined everything up and instead of actually getting 14 we actually got 15 little blocks and uh, that gave us a perfect chase so now if we uh, well we can put the other color in there to make it a little more interesting if we go ahead and play this keep your eye on the model and let's go ahead and make it a little bigger so you can keep your eye on the model and we'll go ahead and play And there you go. I think we've uh, done a pretty good job of showing you how to create a skip uh, or use the skip function in the uh, single strand chase. And so that's uh, hopefully that's something you can use and uh, you will uh, add into maybe one of your next sequences. Hey guys, take care. All the best to you and uh, good luck for 2016.